Welcome to the Chris and Kelly Show! First you steal my spot and then you steal my line? <sighs> Whatever, no big deal. But n nice costume. Oh, likewise. It's always nice to match with my favorite co-host. Favorite? Oh, I, I just thanks. knew you were going to cut me off and say it, so. Whatever. Just beat you to it. I, I wasn't going to, but uh, it's like we didn't plan this. Yeah, not at all. We just found this in our closets, yeah. you know, like sort of matching, yeah. kind of not. So anyways, how are you doing today, Kelly? Oh, I am doing so good. You know why? Because it's the fall! What <laughs> is so exciting about the fall? Oh, I'm so glad you asked because this is what's so exciting about the fall. The amazing, delicious candy corn. So you're excited about a disgusting candy in a jar that is named after a vegetable? Excuse are me. Are you okay? Disgusting? You've got it all wrong. This is delicious. But that's not all I'm excited about. I'm excited because guess what? We get to have lattes now, and I get to wear my favorite cozy sweaters. <sighs> Kelly, I think you have completely lost it. Do you realize where we live? Um, we yeah. live in Miami. There's no such thing as cozy weather. It's just hot, humid, humid, and more humid. Way to be a joy killer, Chris. Not a joy killer, Kelly, just a realist. Whatever, I am enjoying all things fall. What was that? Um, so I kind of might have eaten another whole jar of candy corn. K Kelly, do you have no self-control? I, 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 I do, one second. Well, see, kids, seems like Kelly missed the memo because today's Bible verse is all about knowing when to stop. All right, find me alone. Time for the Chris show, guys. 100% Chris, all the- Chris! Hey, huh? how are you? What's up, Victoria? Nice costume. Thanks. Wait, what are you dressed as? Uh, you really can't tell? I thought it was kind of obvious. Anyways, wait a second. Are you doing the Chris and Kelly show without Kelly? What, me? How I would never! Kelly just ran that Chris, way! I'm here to help! Help with what? CF Kids, what? this is the Victoria No, 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 wait! Show. Wait, did you say the Victoria and Chris show? Yes. My name usually comes first! And CF Kids, today's lesson is... Why do you have note cards? Proverbs! 2516! Correct! Oh, this is so much fun! Wait, Chris, have you played the game yet? Anyway. Victoria, let's the game. please. Kids, let's do this. Wait, what is happening? <laughs> Victoria. What? Please, just stop. Actually, good point, Chris. Today's lesson is all about knowing when to stop. Exactly. Exactly. King Solomon teaches us that sometimes too much of something good can actually be bad for you. And knowing when to stop is using wisdom. Victoria. Yes, Chris? <sighs> hey, do you need some water? Let me go get you some. I'll be right back. What is happening? Wow, talk about having self-control. I just had to calm down and know when to stop. Victoria came in here and took over the whole show. Ugh. Proverbs 25, 16 is today's Bible verse on knowing when to stop and I definitely feel like God is trying to tell me something through this. What do you think God is trying to tell you, Chris? Not Nothing, Kelly. Are you feeling better? Uh, kind of. I just wish I stopped eating all that candy corn sooner. So what happened? Well, you see, the candy corn is just so delicious and chewy and yummy. And I was watching this movie with my mom that was like three hours long. And by the time we finished it, I ate the entire jar. Mm. That kind of sounds like what was going on in today's Bible verse. Hey, you're right. Wait, does that mean it's time for the game show? I guess it's time for the game show. <laughs> All right, welcome to the game show, where Bible knowledge is your key to success. Today's edition is a costume party. Why? Because it's fun. First, let's talk about King Solomon. Wonderful idea. Contestants. Um, contestants. Christopher, did you forget to book the contestants? No, no, I mean, yeah, I guess I did. What are we gonna do? Hey, guys, I can 
be your contestant? Oh, oh. No. I mean, okay, fine. As long as you're a contestant. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, now Sea of Kids and Victoria. You might remember how Solomon became king over God's people at a young age, right? Right. Well, he was worried about leading an entire nation without any experience. But one night, God spoke to Solomon in a dream. God told Solomon that he could have any gift he wanted. Mm -hmm. But you see, Solomon could have asked for money or for power. But instead, he asked God for what? A, gold, B, a castle, C, wisdom, or D, cattle. <laughs> wisdom! Wisdom is the correct answer. He asked for wisdom so he could be the best leader for the people. And sure enough, God gave Solomon lots, lots of wisdom. Yes, Victoria. Next question. Many of the wise things Solomon learned and said were written down and we can find them in what book? A, Genesis, B, Matthew, C, Psalms, or D, Proverbs. That is correct. Proverbs are sayings that can help us make wise decisions in our lives today. Today's verse... Proverbs Victoria, remember you're a contestant. <laughs> yes, Proverbs 25.16 says, If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Whoa, let me read that again. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Thank you, Mike Stan. You see, any good thing in your life is a gift from God. You can probably think of your favorite games or sports or things you like to do in your free time. And there's nothing wrong with those things. God wants us to enjoy them, and we can really love and appreciate them if we spend the right amount of time on them. But any good thing can get out of control and cause trouble if we don't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. Time for our flash round. Are you ready? You found a big bag of chips in the pantry. You sit in front of the TV and you eat every single one. Do you feel good or not so good? Not so good. Correct! You just got a new video game and instead of playing for 10 minutes like usual, you played for a whole hour instead of going to bed on time. How do you feel the next morning? Good or not so good? Well, good, because I got to play extra, but then bad in the morning from being super duper tired. And then even worse for disobeying my parents. So the answer is not so good. Correct. You're at school and your friend is telling you a story, but you have something you need to share with them. So you interrupt them and tell them your story instead because you're so mad about what happened to you. Is that good or not so good? Um, good, because I got it off my chest, but then not so good because I didn't take time to consider other people. Correct. When we know when to stop, we feel good. But if we have too much of something or spend too much time doing something, we lose control and we feel, well, not so good. Yikes, Chris, I've been doing that to you all day and I'm so, so sorry. I need to take time to consider you. And I guess I was just too excited to host the show. It's all right. We all can use this lesson and be reminded that it's important to know when to stop. Like right now, let's stop doing this game show and go ahead and jump into costume party dance break. <laughs> was. And getting to wear our costumes was the best part. Hmm. Kelly? What? Do you remember our bottom line? Mm-hmm. Knowing when to stop. Yeah, and um, it seems you have not learned your lesson. You're gonna give yourself another stomach ache. No, I'll be fine. Don't worry, Chris. Um, I'll no, take no. these. Let me Chris! help Chris! you, Kelly. No. Let me help no, you. No, I, I don't need your help. You need to know when to stop. I have more. 
<gasps> Bye, see ya, kids. See you next week. You should try some, though. These things are disgusting. Bye, see ya, kids.